So today we're going to read the book titled Interrupting Chicken, written by David Ezra Stein. So he's the author and the illustrator. So he wrote and he drew all the pictures in this book. We also have this great silver sticker here that says it's a Caldecott Honor Medal winner, which means that this is a really good story with really good pictures. So let's start. And it says this book is called Interrupting Chicken. Right, Papa? Yes. Now please, don't interrupt the story. Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa. But you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read you one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa. I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, what lovely children. Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't go in. She's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Chicken? Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Out jumped a little red chicken, and she said, don't talk to strangers. So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken? Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories, and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes. Now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story, and I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit in the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm. The sky was falling when out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't panic, it was just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't. The end. Chicken, yes, Papa, you did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story, and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, said Papa, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me? Tell a story, said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, <clears throat> Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all... Good night, Papa. The end. That was a great story. Did you like that story?
story? Yeah. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was when the the um the little red chicken interrupted all the stories. I know, that was so funny. I really liked that part too. Alright, well, another great thing that we can do is we can make an interrupting chicken. So we'll go do that and show everyone how to make an interrupting chicken puppet. Okay? So we're going to make an interrupting chicken puppet and we already have all of our materials here. We have the plate, we have an orange construction paper, red construction paper, we have our googly eyes, we have our pencil, scissors, and our glue. So what we need to do first is we need to take a paper plate and we're going to cut out that circle. And that is going to be the face of the puppet for interrupting chicken. To draw the hands. So we drew your hand, both hands on the red construction paper. And then we cut it out. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to glue this. You want to open it up for me? Put some glue on the bottom of the hand there. Yeah. We're going to glue that. Can you put that right there? And then what we're going to do over here is we're going to glue this part on the back. So can you get the glue? Great. We're going to put that right on the back. And then we're going to take off the backs of our sticky eyes. You want to do that on the back there? We can just place our eyes on the chicken. And then we cut out a square from the orange construction paper, and we're going to glue the back half of the triangle right there. And then, beautiful, great job, Ava. He's looking just like interrupting chicken. And you can keep it. And now we have interrupting chicken.